Hello and welcome to my third quick edit video. Um, last night I tried to get some time-lapse footage of a thunderstorm rolling over Lake Constance and I had to leave after about 10 minutes because the storm was coming right at me. But I think I got some decent shots which I will edit in this video now. Actually I think I'm going to use this and this shot and combine them using blending modes in Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do as always is set a camera calibration profile to something else like neutral, actually a camera standard, and then check the lens correction checkboxes here. The next thing I want to do is change the color a little bit so I'm going to play with the white balance maybe a bit more bluish like this and maybe add a little bit of purple now I'm going to down the highlights just a little bit because this lightning bolt is pretty bright and I'm also going to increase the shadows to get a bit more detail in the darker areas I'm also going to add a bit of clarity for this shot and also vibrance of course and f now I think I'm going to leave the colors as they are in this shot because I don't want to get a too over saturated picture I could increase the luminance part in the purple areas a bit also I don't want to touch split toning for this particular shot but I am going to sharpen quite a bit and then mask out the areas I don't want to get sharpened. Uh, it looks kind of noisy, therefore I am going to add a bit of noise reduction. And now I am going to add a bit more clarity to the sky to make it look more dramatic, therefore I am going to use a graduated filter and pull it down around here and just increase the clarity by quite a lot. And I'm also going to add a bit of noise reduction here because it doesn't matter if the clouds look blurry and maybe a bit more of contrast. I'm going to cut this plane out in Photoshop. I could do it in Lightroom but it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to apply all those settings I did for this image on this one. Therefore I'm just going to select it and click on previous. Then I'm going to export those two and continue with the post processing in Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is check if I can use this layer here and therefore I'm going to change the blending mode to lighten which doesn't really work. I could try and move it around a bit Okay, I'm actually um, erasing this part of this board because I don't really have a use for it. So I'm just going to brush it out on the layer mask. Okay, now I'm getting rid of this airplane. Therefore I'm going to use the healing brush and just brush over the whole line it will fix everything I'm also kind of annoyed by this lower part here I would actually love to see a bit more of the lake I'm trying to fix that with the content aware fill therefore I'm just selecting a line around those trees as close as possible and then hit shift F5 and choose um, content aware and smaller spots like this one we can just um, erase with the healing brush again also this looks kind of weird I think I'm going to leave this area as it is right now 
and just fix some minor errors here. Now it's time to apply some filters, but I think I'm going with the classical soft focus only on this one. Okay, I'm only going to use this layer for the sky part. Therefore I have to cut out the lower bit of the image. Therefore I'm using a layer mask again and just brush the parts away I don't want. I think I might actually want to erase that part because it's kind of distracting. Yeah, this was supposed to happen because of this area right here, because it was so close to the lasso selection. Yeah, and there, yeah, now it's gone. Looks way better. This particular area right here is kind of annoying. I try to fix it. It looks more natural now, I think. Okay, and uh, this is it for this shot. I don't want to overdo the editing here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comment section. I'm going to answer them as fast as possible. Thanks for watching.